If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it. Are you looking for Rebel Clash codes? They are already available on Poton Store, as you can see, and you can use Tableman code for 5% off or for any purchase of all the other code cards they have. For the European players, Millipods Gaming has everything you need from collectibles to all the new Pokemon Sword and Shield cards and Rebel Clashes now in stock. Make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video where we are going to be taking a look at the Japanese National Online Tournament Champion deck which features Beakabolt V. Beakabolt V is a brand new card that we will be getting in Darkness Ablaze, or we should be getting in Darkness Ablaze. With 210 HP, the basic Pokemon can use Paralyzing Bolt, which does 50 damage and your opponent can't play any item cards from their hand. From their hand during their next turn. And we have the Super Sap Cannon doing 190 damage and you discard two energy from this Pokemon. Now, does the Paralyzing Bolt dealing 50 and no item cards remind you of someone? Well, yeah, this is basically Seismitoad EX's doppelganger, right? And, um, which we all know, or if you're not familiar with, I guess, with Pokemon history, Seismitoad EX, when it came out was a very dominant card as both a tech card in a lot of decks with double colorless energy but also as a standalone deck combined with Carbiter, combined with many things like Crobat as well so it's no surprise that this effect is really really good um, obviously item cards are uh, a big part of deck construction and so Beacold V being a thing does mean that we might need to structure our decks differently. Now, this list that we have right here will never really be relevant to anyone outside um, the Asian uh, tournament scene because by the time we get Darkness Ablaze, rotation will have happened. So we will be losing a bunch of different cards from, um, from this deck list. But overall, the deck should remain a decent force to be reckoned with um, of course it has it takes advantage of all the lightning support that we have right now including thunder mountain speed energy and the electro powers moving forward that uh, we will be losing the electro powers but um, we do get to keep thunder mountain and Tapu Goku prism star since they did come out in team up so that's really really cool for um, for the deck overall and um, it does rely on Drachi and the Dene and Oricorio GX for its engine. It does play Mars Shadow to remove potential chaotic spells and has Absol to mess with opponents Jirachi, um, Jirachis and other things. Now it does have Raichu and Alolan Raichu as an alternate attacker in case you need to paralyze or do some big damage. And we have a wide variety of supporters. It's super interesting to see no research, and let me move out of the way, no research and no Volkner. Rather, we are relying on a three Marnie and three Goose Mahala engine, along with a single Erika's, Cynthia Caitlin, Bosses Orders, and the new Bird Keeper supporter, which allows you to switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon, and then you draw three cards. This allows you to reshuffle Vika Bolts, allows you to get a little bit of extra draw power, it goes well with a Lol and Raichu and Raichu GX as well, and allows you to get us an extra Stella Wish off in any given turn. Now, we do have the Giant Bombs as well to compensate for the low damage output that Vika Bolt V does deal, and we also have the brand new Giant Cape, which, uh, Toughness Cape, sorry, where it raises the maximum HP of the basic Pokemon this card is attached to by 50. It does not work on Pokemon GXs though, so you cannot attach it to the Tene, you cannot attach it to Arikorio, and you cannot attach it to Raichu Raichu. However, you can definitely bring Vigavolt V's HP up to 260, which is a very, very nice amount. Um, the rest of the deck is pretty standard. We have switches, we have um, tackles to search for the Raichu, but also the supporters, especially Goose Mahala. We have reset stamps to attack our opponent's hand. And we have, of course, the four speed energy, the five basic lightning energy, and two capture energy, which is really nice, right? It makes sense. It allows you to get Coco Prism Star out a little bit quicker and therefore establish the two energies on V Cobalt V, which you definitely want to do in the beginning of your turn. 
Now, no matter whether you're going first or second, your goal is to use um, Big Ult's attack every single turn, right? To Paralyzing Bolt every single turn. That way your opponent cannot play item cards at all. And um, we can do this in many ways through powering up with a Thunder Mountain, with Coco Prism Star, or we do have the counter gain in case we lose something like Jirachi on turn one. And that way we can Paralyzing Bolt for a single Lightning Energy. Now, I'm not sure what this deck went up against throughout the um, throughout the throughout the rounds. Yeah, it was a two-day tournament. There were almost 200 participants, so really cool to see. Um, I believe over in Japan, um, they are starting to have tournaments and actual card play back, which is really cool to see and gives us hope for the future. Right. So yeah, that's the list. Um, I guess we can talk about Pika Volt's second attack as well. 190 damage for 3 energy is actually a pretty decent amount, especially after you have been using Paralyzing Bolt for a bunch of turns. Um, discarding 2 energy from this Pokemon is not ideal, right? That's never ideal, but we're going to be using that attack as a last resort measure or to hopefully finish off a game towards the later stages of the game after we have locked down our opponents. Yeah, so should be pretty interesting. Um, should be pretty interesting to see now the cards we do lose once uh, standard rotates I believe we would lose the Pokemon wise do we lose anything Jirachi's team up Absol is uh, on broken bonds or team up no it's team up uh, Coco is team up Coco Prism Star is team up right now I'm actually not so sure I am actually not so sure. Let me double check that. Tapu Koko Prism Star, is it team up or are we losing Tapu Koko Prism Star? Uh, yeah, it is team up. So the, I guess the big part that the deck loses are the four Electro Powers, right? Electro Power is definitely something that we will not have access to um, in order to increase the damage output of Paralyzing Bolt. Uh, the escape boards we would also lose as well, but with Switch being available and Scoop Up Net as well, I don't believe that will be a huge issue. So is that really the only thing the deck loses? Counter gain, I guess, perhaps? Does the deck lose counter gain? Let me double check that. Counter gain, it might, right? It might lose counter gain. And it is from Lost Thunder, okay. So it loses counter gain as well. That's two cards, but that's it, right? That's pretty broken. So you could just basically copy paste this deck into the next format. Now, instead of the um, Electro Powers, what I would imagine we would do is probably play extra Giant Moms, make that four instead of the two. So that covers two spots and we could add a second Toughness Cape as well. So we would be playing a 4-2 split of that. That is three out of the five spots. And then in the other two spots, I would personally, you know, personally choose to maximize consistency by adding the fourth Jirachi and playing perhaps either the fourth Marty or the fourth Kuzma and Hala. Fourth Kuzma and Hala might be a little too much, but in the end, like, Using Guzma Hala gets you speed energy, thins the deck, can get you capture energy, can get you a consistent stream of giant bombs. Obviously the discard would be a little tough, right? The discard would be a little tough. Or Ikori GX came out in the in the tag team. In the tag team um in the tag team sets, right? Or Ikorio GX, yeah, it's like unified minds or something. Uh, it's Cosmic Eclipse, yeah. So yeah, those are the only cards that we're losing and I would definitely make those changes to make sure that, or that's why that's where I would start off with, with a brand new um, post-rotation Beagle B deck. Yeah, so as, as you're seeing right now on screen, taking those cards away, modifying those counts and um, adding a little bit of extra consistency to the deck yeah maybe even consider an extra energy the deck the way the deck works shouldn't change with the loss of the electro powers and the single counter gain it just means your damage output throughout the game will be 
lower, right? You won't be able to get those um, those key KOs through the use of the um, of the electro powers, but your opponent will have uh, to play around even more giant bombs throughout the game. So yeah, that will be all from me today. Huge props to uh, Masa, who won the Japanese, the Pokemon Japanese National Online Tournament. I don't know why they call it online though, unless they play through Skype. I'm not actually sure. I don't think they did, um, because I'm fairly sure they played with the actual cards. Um, but yeah, that will be all for me. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this. I will be starting to bring um, post rotation content to the channel. So make sure you hit the like button for that, and I will catch you next time. Bye bye.